Hello YouTube, we are back today again, and as you may see, uh, things look a bit different. I have indeed gotten a texture pack, and it's not any texture pack, it's my favorite texture pack of all time, or at least it used to be back in the day. It's Mises HD, and I actually have Dockham's version, because the original Mises uh, HD is no longer available. Uh, for these early Minecraft versions, so... <clears throat> I downloaded his from his very, very first Minecraft World Tour. Like, two or three years old by now. And it has a costume wolf skin, and that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, as you see, it looks pretty good. And it's turning nighttime, so yeah. Anyway, today we are going to start working on... Uh, let's just throw some stuff around here for a second. I have way too many materials on me. Um, today we're going to start working on a way down into my mine I'm going to make, because we are going to need a load of iron for all the products here. So, over here will be the mine entrance, and you might wonder, why is there a random door here and why are there ladders here? Well, this is going to be the start of an Eats Road, which is, uh, as I said in uh, the preview for this series, one of the Ethos old inventions. It's actually the one that started uh, him on making YouTube videos. So, yeah. It's basically a boat elevator for... It still works somewhat in modern Minecraft, but it's not even nearly as quick or anything. Like, boats soared up water even downstreaming in these updates, which made it highly efficient for all intents and purposes. So... What we're doing here to begin with is I'm just fixing up the floor a bit because I want it to look really nice. Let's put up some more lights in here. It's pretty dark in these updates actually. I forgot how dark it used to be. Minecraft looked so amazing back in the updates because of the lighting engine. I actually missed this lighting engine. However, I do not miss the fact that we don't have smooth lighting in these updates, but whatever. Minor issues, minor issues. So, I'm not quite sure how far I will have to go here, and I probably should have looked this up before, but I need to try and remember how you make a return point for an Eats Road. Back in these updates, and quite far into Minecraft history, wouldn't take full damage in both Minecrafts, or minecarts rather. <coughs> it's a very recent addition to the game, to be honest, and... Uh, yeah, you will see. You will just see. Which means you could do some uh, quite fun stuff with these. So what we're going to have here is a water stream flowing this way. Which is going to stop... Let me see, how far do I have to do this actually? Uh, yes, let me count it for a second. This will have to be empty block. This will have to be source block. So over here we can drop down. I'll have to make a really compacted boat returner here. Which is going to be highly interesting. Actually, it shouldn't be difficult at all thinking about it. <laughs> Sometimes just overthink things. So, yeah. Anyway. Here is where we're going to go down. I don't even remember what lava level in this update was, so... Expect me might die later on to lava and all sorts of stuff. Um... Water levels were different back in these updates as well, so everything was quite a ways uh, higher up, I want to say, than it is now. And they changed that in beta 1.8. So, we're going to need two of these, just realized. Uh, and for those people, if you're new to what I'm uh, doing here, Minecraft mechanics. Oh, and yeah, we didn't have a differently colored wood for... Ages. Yes, yes, ages. We didn't have different colored wood. We only had wooden planks. Normal oak wooden planks. I think that actually kept going until like... Beta or full release 1.2 or something, I want to say. I'm not quite sure. Like, the game has changed a lot. Of I'll have to make this place animal safe later by removing all the grass, because this is getting annoying with all the bloody sheep around. Die. Oh, yeah. You didn't have shears back in this update. Shears were added in uh, 1.6 beta. So, yeah. 
quite a few updates down the line. And you just punched sheep to get your wool. And your wool didn't have a use until the next uh, uh, full update, which was 1.3, where you could actually make beds. So, yeah. Okay, anyway, let me figure out here. This will stop right here. The reason I have ladders here is because they have a hitbox here, while the signs do not. So the boat will not go through the signs upwards. Oh yeah, look at this. Just hold space and it did this. It's hilarious. I can look at this. Anyway. I think we're on water level, right? Yeah. Y65 was uh, right above the water blocks in the sea. And the sea blocks itself was in Y64 instead of Y63, I think it is. So Valian worked quite differently. I'm not even sure if there was bedrock in this update, so I might actually dig down and die. I do remember I have dug through and not had bedrock once before, but I don't remember exactly what update that was. Oh, and yes, Mises takes you back, the Creeper Moon. That might adjust the sound a little bit. 7 and 25. Better. A lot better. So, anyway. Just let me think here for a moment, as I said. We need one more sign, actually. There were no repeaters in this update as well. They were added in, I want to say, 1.3, but it might be 1.4, actually. I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure what 1.4 added anymore. Holy hell, it's been a long time. It's actually kind of scary how long time, how long of a time it's been. So... You know what? Let me... Do this. Oh yeah, you couldn't hit torches if you were inside them as well. So I'm worried about sort of neat stuff like that. Okay. There we go, nice and right. Oh yeah, I probably should remove this for now, shouldn't I? Hmm, might be a good idea, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. Infinite source blocks was such a fucking pain to get rid of back in the day. There we go. Okay, so... I guess... I'm going to speed this up right here, so I'm going to have a fast cut, and I'm going to speed this little part here up, and I'm going to dig down to lava level.
and there we go. And as you may have noticed, depending on how uh, far I turn the sound down in uh, the video... Oh hey, diamonds! Awesome. Um, depending on how much I turn the sound down in the video, you may have noticed tools didn't have a sound when they broke. So when that was added into the game in... I want to say 1.1 full release or 1.4 full release. It scared the life out of people for quite some time after that. So anyway, we are going to have our boats arrive here. And oh hey, redstone. Cool. And if you're wondering, yes I am going to keep this texture back on because I really really like it. I might turn it off every now and then, just for the sake of it. Like redstone tutorials and stuff for once. Or for one, I will not have it on. But... Uh, or while we are doing the redstone, but we will turn it on again later because it just makes everything look so nice. And I am still on peaceful, by the way, because I haven't set up a good system for anything yet. Oh, and yeah, back in these updates, it was a bad idea to go way too far from spawn because uh, since you didn't have a bed, you could not set your spawn anywhere else, so you had to keep your coordinates written down all the bloody time. Huh. Oh, hey, gold. I'm just going to go up here and turn this water off because the sound is annoying the hell out of me. And yeah, as you can see, I can literally not see over here pretty much. The caves used to be this dark because of the lighting engine. And sorry for those frame drops, I think we updated something. Some block updates, whip. Ah, oh, fail. Uh, I love the old damage sound, it was so derpy. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Yeah, I'll have to explore this place more later. Anyway, you see the point, these caves were quite... Um, uh, how to say it, they were quite... Um, not scenic, that's not the right word here. They were quite... Uh, quite ambient. Back in the day, and just imagine this place has zombies uh, how, uh, randomly howling, silent steps from creepers, spiders hissing. I actually think their eyes glowed really, really, really much back in these updates as well, which made them look really creepy in the dark because you just saw red glowing eyeballs. <coughs> which was, oh god. I hate spiders, so to me it was kind of a nightmare. Anyway, let's. Uh I guess I might have to go and look for some more dirt here. Oh yeah, there we go. I want to be able to get all the way back up to the surface again. Actually, I shouldn't have needed to, but whatever. Shouldn't have been a need to do that. But hey, better safe than sorry. So... I want to say we should go up right here. Not quite sure. And the reason I fill these in with dirt later and stuff is because I'm going to go through and grab all the coal. Anyway, and before the bait updates, you were not able to create charcoal. This is the first update you were able to create charcoal in. It might have been one that wasn't uh, underscore 01 before this, but I'm quite sure this was the very, very first one where they introduced charcoal. So before that you have to make torches and smelt everything with coal, or you had to burn logs or planks to create items, which logs and planks burn the same amount of times, so you literally wasted the uh, energy by burning the full logs. And you couldn't shift click anything by the way, you literally had to spam both mouse buttons to create stuff, which is quite annoying. Oh yes, this is the default Misa skin by the way. <coughs> so good. All the nostalgia, or nostalgia, how the hell you want to pronounce it. So, what this door is going to do over here, the boats are basically going to float up on this side and get stuck under here. And then you can have multiple boats, one stuck uh, after the other, and you have to have the door open and close really, really quickly. Which is something I will go through how to do later, but uh, yeah. Anyway, when that happens, it will basically open, and when the boat is uh, halfway through, it will close, like 
it does here, and you can move out of it like this, so the boat will just keep going, but no other boats that come up will be able to go through it. Um, so yeah, that's the point here. And when they get over here, they will simply run flat into the wall, not break, and they will fall straight down, and we'll have some water to catch us down there. And then we'll have a water elevator for them back up here, where we can, uh, yeah, where we can send them back to. We might want to automate this a little bit more later on, but whatever. Anyway, let's make ourselves um, a couple of iron pickaxes here, so we can get some redstone going. Oh, the nostalgia. You have no idea how much I missed this update. These are the star textures, by the way. Looks like this when you're holding them like that, but it was completely broken in the inventory. Looked hilarious. Anyway. Oh yeah, we have to go down slowly. Oh wait, yeah, you know what? I'm going to be smarter and go and get the smooth slime and smelting. Oh, and remember the thing I told you in the preview? That you can swim up here with a boat? Yeah, you can do that as well, normally. And if it's a source block, you can actually go up just as fast as normally, which meant you could have mob elevators where you push them into this corner and would just go straight up hovering. It looked hilarious. So majestic, so majestic. And this boat elevator will be something else as well. It'll be so majestic to look out for this. I say majestic a lot, I've noticed that. And no, I do not care if that annoys you. This is my town, scrub. <coughs> anyway. I've also noticed that there are some islands over there. I don't know if I've showed that. Let's go up after I grab this stone that's been smelting over here. Let's actually put some more stone into the furnace. We'll need a lot of smooth stone because, uh, as you might be able to tell, this uh, smooth stone looks really, really good. It looks like bloody concrete. And uh, yeah. Here we have an opening. I will have to add multiple floors and ways to get to them later because I really want to use this cliff as a home with different layers for different things. And up here I will have a house and possibly an animal farm around this area as well. Anyway, if we look over this area, it's a lot of water and islands, which means if there's say, an ocean over I literally have not explored anything pretty much. If there is an isolated island, let's say that is kind of isolated, let's say, then we'll make the mob trap and animal trap over there, and we will have a minecart rail or an eats road going over there. I will. I'm thinking of a minecart rail there, and just use this area for eats roads for the moment. The reason to use eats roads, by the way, is that the only thing you require are pickaxes, which require literally wood or wood and stone. Wood and stone is probably the most efficient way, and then uh, water buckets. And then just wood for everything else. Which makes it highly efficient uh, way of travel. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So yeah. I am uh, going to start going down and I'll be back when we are back down at the bottom again. I found a little cave while uh, mining uh, for... Or mining the coal that's on the way down. And, oh yes, this is how slowly iron pickaxes is used to mine the redstone. Redstone was quite a hassle to get. And, as you may notice, there wasn't a sound for lava back in the day. So you literally had no clue when you might find yourself a very, very, very fiery rave. Which was terrifying. I do remember that in one of the bait updates, I think it is, maybe it's in this one, you could actually place water in the nether, so you could have a squid farm in the nether, which was hilarious. Then they removed that, and then up until beta 1 point, the pre-release of beta 1.8, no, up until 1.9 pre-releases, you could only sheet in water into the nether by either placing source blocks, or placing ice blocks and letting them melt. However, however, in the pre-release of 1.9, Silk Touch worked on uh, ice blocks, and you could melt them in the nether and uh, get water in there, which was amazing because blazes and stuff died in it. 
And I'm not sure exactly when they nerfed that, but after beta 1.0 uh, or pre-release 1.9, right before final release, they removed it for ISO because you couldn't be bothered fixing how to how the Nether reacted to melting water. So it was left whereby if you had ice blocks from before, then you had a very very valuable trading item. Um, for other people, if you were on a multiplayer server, because everybody wanted it, obviously. Who didn't want water in the nether? It was such an advantage to have it there, to be honest. I'm not even sarcastic or anything. It really, really helped with um, building and everything, and keeping the area mob safe, and it, it basically has looked awesome. And it enabled you to make a really simple mob farms even in the nether. However... Then they added back so you could play size and nether quite a few updates down the line after final release and they nerfed it so you can uh, or they removed it so that uh, or they removed it rather fixed it so that melting water in the nether no longer created ice and yes i'm still on peaceful air i yet again don't have the resources right now to want to run around on any sort of difficulty because well Caving and stuff with difficulty on back in the day was. Uh, I will show you when we later on are set up enough whereby I could consider doing it, but we need this mine shaft to be pretty much finished before I even start to do that kind of caving. But since you food wasn't stackable at all, you could. Uh, you had no food bar. You couldn't sprint. But each hit uh, that you took reduced your health, and you had to eat to uh, regain health. And then uh, the modern, or what should I call it, the nowadays modern with the normal Minecraft updates, or the newer food bar system, how much uh, hunger the items healed, that's how many hearts to use to heal. So, going caving without those, was uh, without a decent amount of food and armor, was... Um, a very, very, very bad idea. Let me say that much. It usually ended quite horribly. And we are getting a load of materials from this. I found some lapis earlier that I haven't mined yet. I will go and grab that later. So, yeah, you can call this a slight Minecraft history lesson. Like, Back in my day, we didn't have none of them fancy food bar healing over time, Franks. We had to bring food that wasn't stackable and eat it on place to regain HP instantly. And the bows, I might add, uh, were hilarious. You will, uh, I will show them off later. I might actually see if I can get uh, someone I know to record a clip or so on their laptop. Because there was an hilarious thing you could do with uh, if you had both an external mouse and a internal mouse connected to the computer at the same time with, let's say, a laptop. Um, the bows didn't have a draw animation. They basically fired the second you click the button and they shot a lot shorter distances than now. And it had a different sound as well. But since it uh, shot the second the button was clicked in, on a laptop you could spam right click on the inbuilt uh, mouse and the external mouse at the same time. So you could literally have like, Ugh. oh and yeah, in this update. That right there is my mouse. Spam clicking didn't do anything for you when it came to getting hand to move faster. It didn't do anything. You couldn't swing infinitely fast in these updates, which was a uh, decent feature, I suppose was more realistic than it's like Arr! ultra spamming everything down but yeah that bow was ridiculous because you could fire upwards of 120 f no i think the record i got up to that was over a thousand arrows per minute just spamming it and you could go through super hostile maps with it in uh, like if you had an inventory full of arrows on a bow you could literally yolo pretty much everything even pigmen, you could just spam them down and destroy the spawners or light them up. Whatever suited you the best. And it was basically Archer the game. Or Archer Simulator. Probably Archery. 
in Minecraft. No. Let's not even attempt that, <laughs> shall we? If someone makes a mod for that ever, I'm going to have to do it though. I just... Oh, that game is amazing. Okay, let's see. This area is cleared. And this is where I came into this part from. That's lava. And that should be it here, right? Pretty darn sure. Yeah. Let's head back out from this area. And we are getting a load of iron. And I'm not going to make any unnecessary iron tools for a while. And when we have the animal farm set up, I will probably use the worst armor in the game, which is leather armor. But it will still protect you somewhat. It breaks about as fast as gold armor, and it's a lot worse than gold armor but in this update, but... Uh, yeah. I think we're done on coal for now. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's grab some more. I'm a coal maniac. Carbon maniac. BR trails. So yeah, wait, did I see something over there? Did I just miss gold? I did. I was like, hey, what the hell is that pattern over there? Oh hey, it's gold. Gold! Ho 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 ho! Uh Anyway, I don't even remember what I was talking about, and I completely lost my trail of thought. 10 out of 10, brain! 10 out of 10. Let's put the torch there, so no mob spawn. The reason I do this as well is that I might decide to add a mob trap closer to here than over by the islands. And anyways, I always want the caves lit up so that uh, I reduce the chance that mobs will spawn in any other area than the mob farm itself. So, yeah. There we go, more redstone. This stuff... Basically, back in this update, there were six ores. There were gold ore, iron ore, coal ore, redstone ore, lapis ore, and... Maybe there were only... Five ores, actually, let me think. Coal, iron, gold, redstone, lapis. Yeah, five ores. Oh yeah, diamond, of course. Six ores. And... Uh, that meant there were a lot more of them. Which were needed, because items broke really quickly. And uh, the redstone took forever to mine. It was not fun mining redstone. But redstone was also the most overpowered thing ever back in these updates because the mob AI was run straight at the target. Don't uh, care about heights or anything. Just run straight forward. That was mob AI. Like you could make them walk off cliffs and everything. That's why the pigs were dying, as I think I showed last episode or the preview. My God, I'm already getting way too much into the brain of making a series. Oh yeah, I just remembered, back in this update, Lapis only gave you one. Isn't it hilarious? Yes. Yes, indeed. So the most efficient way was actually col to color wool back in this update and nothing else. Anyway, let's close this up and I will continue going down. This will be a long-ass video on it. Probably. Oh, and I ran out of the... Shovel. That ain't good. That ain't good, mate. Anyway, getting down here. Okay, good. Let's make this uh, a nice concrete wall as well. Okay, so put that back there. Be a bit careful right here. Mind these diamonds. And I think there was redstone over here, wasn't there? Oh my god, a lag spike right there. Oh my god. Yeah, this wasn't optimized in the slightest. 
Optifine didn't come around until beta 1.4, I don't think, either. So, yeah. That was the thing. Perfect. Even more redstone. We will have a decent amount by the time I get out of there. Oh, hey, gold. Cool. As you see, iron tools lasted a really, really, really long time back in uh, these updates. They, like, took no dents. And diamond tools back in these updates were insane to begin with. However, since you didn't have efficiency, it also felt like they lasted a lot longer than they did. But the, f the efficiency of how quickly they mined and their uh, durability were quite significant in difference as well. Like, in really significant differences. I can barely speak at the moment. I'm oh my god. I need to start recording a lot more often. There we go. Grab some more iron. I could have just turned into a derpy caving episode. On peaceful while I talk about random stuff. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the intro that I hope to have done for this episode. I'm not quite sure if I will. I really, really hope I do though. And otherwise, if I don't go with an intro for this episode, it might be a little while. We will see after this one, won't we? Or you will see it when it's uploaded. I still don't know what I will do. Otherwise, we'll probably combine some moments from these episodes into the intro. Let's do that. Let's jump up here. I also want to make sure we clear out as much of this cave as possible. Because, well... We will need the resources and we will do so very quickly. Do -do -do. Can't wait until we get into the nether in this update. That's going to be the freakiest thing I've ever seen. It was so freaking claustrophobic. Hey, where the hell are we at? Oh, hey, there's lava here. Okay. Let's not touch that. Oh my god, these cave systems. I forgot how freaking large they were. I don't even think there was a ma minimap mod or anything back in this update. Maps were added in 1.6... No, 1.4 I'm pretty sure. Maps were added. That's the main feature of that update. I might be wrong, but I think that's it. No, 1.6 was the maps as well, I think. I'm not even sure anymore. Yes, yes go and look up uh, the stuff, because I don't have all the information. However, I am going to teach you what I know, and I am going to relearn everything about these updates. And I'm going to show you glitches and everything in them. And incredibly annoying things in them as well. Uh And, yay, caving music. This is a nice lighting glitch right here. Those happen every once in a while. In these updates as well. Okay. So, we need more torches. We need more torches, Captain! We need more lights, sir! Uh, running out of daytime! Daylight's burning! Quickly, quickly! Uh, whatever. I can't do goblin voices from WoW. I just can't. I'm sorry. Shouldn't even have attempted. <laughs> Too bad of an attempt. Here we go. Ah, iron. Sneaky little position right there. I thought the cave ended, but apparently not. God damn it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to finish this up and I'll be back to show you the hole we got at uh, the start where our elevator is. Actually, you know what? 
I think I'm giving up on lighting this place up for now. This would literally take hours. I'm not even kidding. Like, in normal Minecraft, lighting up all the caves can take hours, but in this, it... Yeah, it wasn't. It can take hours. It will take hours. Oh, and yes, I want to show you that again right there. I'm not sure if that's back in recent updates, but there are, it has been back a few times since it was originally fixed. And I think it's only one of the angles of the water or one of the sides. You cannot get up by jumping. It was very useful for mob farms and uh, mob trap tricks like... Uh, Something will be later on that's uh, document invented a few updates later than this, which we'll get to eventually. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. So yeah, let's just pick this stuff up and be and be done with it. Minecarts are going to be so much fun to mess around with, I miss them so much. Gold didn't have a purpose in this update either, except to make building blocks and... Uh, what should I call it? Clocks. So we'll have quite a few clocks laying around everywhere, so we can open a chest or something and check the time. Should need a rice. And I just got lost. Incredible, isn't it? Oh yeah, I went the wrong way over here. We're supposed to go this way. Anyway, <coughs> let's get back to the surface. Basically, you, there wasn't power rails in this update, so you had to use the, as I think it's on the surface, the mobs can push you around in this update, and that was true for, or it was true for quite a while on the beta as well. And I actually think they uh, pushed, uh, they bounced you up a little bit, so they could bounce you off cliffs even if you held shift, which was... Dealing with mobs in this update was a pain in the ass. In the entire beta, pretty much it was. The AI got improved in 1.8, I think, and it hasn't been improved extremely since. Except the 1.2 update that had a new AI. Full release, that is. Uh, or modified it to be better, anyway. So, yeah. Oh, I might also add, I'm not sure if I already mentioned this, but we are going to use glowstone for a lot of projects, which means the nether is going to be completely empty. Because in these updates, um, each glowstone only dropped one dust, and you required nine to create a block. And since there wasn't silk touch, if you broke them, well, fuck. So you literally have to grab nine to create one. It was it was a pain in the ass. However, you could place rails and stuff on it back in the, this update as well. Maybe it was the next one. They kept changing the value for it being solid and then transparent and at one point it was counted as both at the same time and oh my god. So like you wouldn't suffocate any but you could place rails and stuff on it. And, uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I cannot lie. I have a lot of big butts in the of la. Ow. Oh yes. Corner lava. 10 out of 10. That bug is something I'm not looking forward to dealing with again. You could also burn items by throwing them in this corner, let me show you. See? I'm just going to check around this corner if I can reach it. I can't quite reach this from here, god damn it. I want to see if... Uh oh yeah, that continues ways. I think there might be more materials over there, but anyway. A little of those later, if so. Regen and peaceful, though, in these updates were freaking ridiculously fast. Before they added the food system. I do seem to remember there being a point in 1.8 or something where you couldn't even reach and health on peaceful if you were out of food, which was amazingly hilarious and people were so mad about that, including myself. Because you would run out of food very, very quickly. Yay, creepy sounds. 
And anyway, we're back at the surface, and it's night time. And look at all of these animals that have spawned right around here because of the light. Yes, well, I will have to make an animal farm something quite away, a ways away from this place because otherwise they will just keep spawning there. So yeah, let me go up, and we will end this episode. I will need so much more glass to finish this as well. Anyway, uh, split that up, put that there. That there. You can have a stack of iron, to be honest. A stack of iron? Have you lost your marbles, mate? Have you lost them? Have you quite lost your marbles? Ah, uh, whatever. So, yeah. I will start figuring out how to do redstone properly in this update. And uh, when we are back again, I will probably have quite a bit to show it on there because I'm going to work off camera to get that boat elevator set up properly. So yeah, thank you for watching, bye bye. I might add there wasn't a quit game button back then. Yay, you had to go to full screen and click on the X button on the window. <laughs>